Hi, everybody. Uh, oh, that was a little weird. <laughs> the way my hair, the light was, it looked like somebody was oh, that way. No, that. I'm pointing over the same shoulder. I hate looking at myself on the webcam. This side looked like somebody was standing behind me. It freaked me out for a second. Um. Anyways, okay, I'm I'm like fucking cranky today. There's been just so many stupid people. Um, I have a list though, so I won't get sidetracked. I'll try to keep this as quick as possible. Um, so yeah, it's May 16th, 2019. Uh, yesterday morning, I was able to call eBay, and I had the case closed for that buyer in Norway. Um, I'm not gonna go all over it again. I already made a couple videos telling the story about this and reading all her informations and picking apart her elaborate fucking scam and stories that she was making up. So yeah, she she dropped the ball and her shipping, whatever she uploaded uh, like 10 days ago, never did update. Uh, it took her two weeks before she even, almost two weeks before she updated anything, uploaded anything to the case. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so eBay closed in my favor. I got my 150 some dollars back. Uh, she messaged me a couple hours later, um, saying, um, bitching that it was on its way back and how long it took for to get to her. Um, but like it, it, it had tracking though that like updated at some point, like actually indicating something was on its way. What, how, how long does it take for something to get, fly across the ocean? Like, we're not going through the Bermuda Triangle between Norway and Canada, so, you know, the fact that 10 days went by, um, and there was no update other than, you know, left Norway, um, that's a little ridiculous, and like eBay said, um, this is on her, and if it's lost, then she can just contact the, her post office or whatever. Um... She was also saying things about, like, making claims for the return shipping costs, which I wouldn't have refunded her anyways, because she's so full of shit. Um, like, even if I'd actually got back what I sent her, like, no, uh, I can't stand people like this. Just, just to prove a point. Like, just, you, you, try to fuck me over. Like, you, you, you're still a liar. Like, even if you actually return something, you still, like, made up a huge fucking story. No, um, screw you. Um, but yeah, like when I sent her the message, it just said you had to front the return shipping costs, not that you were never getting them back, so she's, yeah, oh, I couldn't afford the shipping back. Then you definitely couldn't have afforded the 150-some U.S. dollar item. Like, yeah, so right there, you're telling me you are not financially stable, so you would be the person to, to pull some scam like this or something. Um... And then says something to, oh, oh, I'm going to get this made-up guy involved. He's going to contact and escalate with eBay. Uh, only you can can do things on your account. Other other people can't. So, yeah, she doesn't get it. She's, she, oh my god, she would not stop messaging me last night. I was getting so pissed off. So, yeah, I filmed the video and saved it. Uh, and then my computer froze, and I lost it all, and then I tried to, I did again, tried to upload it to YouTube, and YouTube, I guess, was down, and nothing was uploading, just sat at 0% for, like, an hour, so I gave up, um, and then, yeah, I tried to, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm redoing it now, the whole thing, so I'm gonna try to keep it still as short as possible. Comic book, that expensive comic book that was most definitely not a reseller, um, he did, this was a scam where I posted. I said, like, what, what the hell is going on? Because even eBay had no idea, but they said it was something. Uh, he got it and signed for it on Monday. I have not heard anything so far. Um, the only weird thing is with it, like, I noticed Monday it said delivered. And then yesterday it was saying I had uh, an item to pay and to ship. <clears throat> I was like, what? I look and it says, paid, ship now. I'm like, what? It was, what the hell is going on? I start to panic. But no, it says, like, uh, sold. And then paid or whatever, ship now. And then, like, you know, have the, it's got the dots and the color bars. And then it says delivered. And, like, the, the sold and delivered thing are lit up. But then in the middle now, shipped is, is like, unhighlighted. So uh, I don't know why that did that. That's super weird. So i got to call eBay about that. Um, just in case something does come up that's not going to say I never even shipped it. Um, 
another buyer last night. I had an item that's it's not an ideal condition. Um, I've had a list of for a little while. No interest in it, so I'm just put it up for an auction. I'll lose money on it, but um, yeah, I I got what I got. It was definitely listed better than it was. Um, somebody bid on it last night around five o'clock my time, and they I recognized the name. Like I was like, yeah, I think I've sold to them before. Um, anyways, they were the only bidder, and then like three a.m. Like I wake up at seven a.m. and I have all these stupid messages. 3 a.m. There's a message from them that says, uh, oh, a financial emergency has come up, so I won't be able to purchase this. Um, I had to retract my bid, but they never retracted their bid. It's still there. So then even by the time I get up at 7 a.m., there's only like 10 hours left on this listing. So I can't cancel for you. It's it's less than 12 hours. Um, I don't know at what point buyers can retract their own bids. I think they can do it up to any point. Uh, I, I don't know for sure though because I I'm a responsible buyer. I don't I don't have to do shit like that. Uh yeah, and then the more I thought about it and looked at their username, I like I recall typing this. Like I think I thought I had them on my block list, but I can't I can't find any other messages from them. Um but yeah, I, I know I've had some sort of interaction with them before. Um Another buyer last night. I had an item listed. Uh, and this is on, I, I have a an account where I've been listing some stuff in Canadian currency, which is about 30% less than American cur currency. Um, and Americans don't understand it. I'm actually surprised I've had a few sales to the States because um, American buyers just do not understand at all. Um, Canadian currency or that they can they can pay in Canadian it'll all just automatically convert for them um you get so many messages I I, I I'm really interested in this but is there a way I can actually buy it because I'm American yeah just buy and pay like yeah it's not, not hard <laughs> even if it was like how does every other country figure these things out like I, I yeah I don't know why they're so confused by this but anyways yeah just uh I lost my list I don't know I need that or I'll ramble. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I was experimenting to see if I can get some uh, Canadians to my listings and some international buyers because I've been noticing lately my international sales are down and not really sure why, except the only thing I could wonder is that when you list for eBay.com, it doesn't give proper um, listings or not listings, um, shipping options. Um, not like you would get when you list in Canada. And then sometimes it'll display the international cost to like Canadians or Americans. So, uh, cause I often get messages from Canadians. Why is shipping $30? It's not, you're Canadian. It'd be the, the like 10 to 15 bucks, whatever it would be. But yeah, so um yeah trying to get more canadians and americans to some of these listings just experimenting with this and had this one item listed and it's kind of rare not really probably not super sought after uh it's the first one i've ever had of this autograph um to i'd seen what like, like check to see what the pricing um would be on this approximately uh this is something I've I've had this for a while. This is actually a, a personal collection item that I'm, I'm ready to part with. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I looked and it it said um, there's a index card sold for like thirty some bucks. And I was like, oh well, that's a pretty good price for an index card. Uh, they usually don't go for very high, and especially at auction. But I didn't see the other one that had sold uh, for a, a hell of a lot more. Um, so. Yeah, I list this photo, 100 bucks Canadian, and got an offer, 40 bucks. Mm, no, that's like less than half. Like, that's like 60% off. Come on. I'm like, how about 80 bucks? And they're like, how about 65? And I'm like, decline. Like, you're just wasting my time. Decline. Then they message me, what's the lowest you would go? Would 70 do it? I'm like, no, 80 was the lowest I would go. That's why I countered 80. Like, and no, I said, actually, now that I've taken a closer look, I. I you know, comparisons, I should actually probably have this listed higher than I even do. Um, don't any other current ones listed um, are a hell of a lot more money. 
and they're both fake um and authenticated by beckett but you can tell just by looking at them like i don't know like what you know with beckett some days you just gotta shake your head um but yeah so he's like oh okay sorry we can do business um and i did put the price up a little bit uh i know i didn't pay very much for this though and it was like back when the dollar was was at par too so um yeah not whatever see now i'm rambling again <clears throat> but anyways yeah it's it's too early for me uh the the listing got removed at 3 a.m <clears throat> so within like six hours of this guy messaging me the listing was removed by ebay um <clears throat> I called them this morning and I'm like, yeah, so what's up with this? Like this guy obviously just was pissed off and reported my listing. Hey, and they didn't really deny that, <clears throat> but couldn't give me like a proper answer. And then the, the guy at first was like kind of nice. And then he says about the authentication. I'm like, yeah, that was, that was all showing. I didn't have it right in front of me, but I'm like, nah, I'm pretty sure this is where it came from. <clears throat> Lose my voice again. And, um, uh my guess was right and he and he found it and he looked he's like oh yeah you have it listed they're showing they goes wow you sure got a lot of autographs list of listed where are you getting all these i'm like not really I, that like that account hardly has any listings actually and like you should see the listings that some people have the amount of listings like what like what the hell fuck is this attitude all of a sudden like I, and i'm complying with ebay policy on all of them certificates are showing and like seriously like if you think that's a lot you should see my house um but yeah he then he said um that the the movie title like the he said oh it looks like maybe the listing was pulled because of that that was that was the reason and i had some other a uh, couple other things from the same franchise um same movie that i have listed and they're they're both fine and they've been listed longer this is like the last thing i listed so yeah i'm not so sure about that then he i said well it's not like his keyword spam I'm like that's the movie this is from and he's like well but if the the rights holders to the movie don't know that i'm like well you think that they would know who was in their movie um and then i was like and so i guess that would mean like somebody can't sell the dvd like yeah it was super weird um i i still think it was just that buyer um reported and he probably just didn't want to tell me that was why um but yeah it's it's been reinstated i just i gotta relist it it's like showing in my unsold folder now but yeah he he cleared it um so speaking of beckett and their being a scam in general <laughs> their their reputation um i posted a video the other night about a scam that was going on uh involving beckett and some guy claiming he worked for beckett and to send your items to him uh that guy commented back the next morning to, to people who were you know picking apart the company and all their problems and he says oh no this company is well established it's been around for years and and steve grad has nothing to do with the company i'm like asshole if you're gonna pretend you work for somewhere go take a look at their about me page like here it is for you it's only been a company for three years since 2016 and oh here's your main authenticator steve grad and i asked him some more questions I said why do they need you you are some random guy who doesn't seem affiliated with the industry in any way who lives in some town in british columbia canada why why do they need you as a as an advisor that doesn't make sense to me what what exactly are is, is your job description here what exactly do you do for them that we need you to to be the middleman and he wouldn't answer he was liking other comments and and replying to things but he won't answer that question so definitely a scam um the other who else do i have for idiots um oh and just like another couple of just general idiots like not big deals yet anyways uh, a couple of sales i had the last few days one of them and these are actually both the same day it's like tuesday uh one of them sold uh got an offer that i accepted uh on a $150 US item, 145 bucks. Uh, buyer gets it, they pay right away, and I have a three-day handling time 
on my listings and also because of the shipping options like again our bad options of what we can select for how we ship um the only option that we really have a choice of being in canada is the uh it's like 15 to 23 days or something like that for shipping time plus my three-day handling time um so yeah like you, you gotta look at your expected time of delivery i do say in the thing like it's probably gonna be about two weeks um to the united states because this guy uh sends an offer and I accept the offer and then he pays right away. And in the payment, like I hate when people hide messages and payments too, because you never see it until you you go to ship something and see that in PayPal. Uh, but he says, oh, will this be here by the 26th? Uh, Cause I'm moving then, I'll be in a different state. Why, why are you buying things that close to the time you move then? Like, why wouldn't you just wait until you move so you can give your new address? Like, like honestly, like, how, like priorities of people amaze me and I'm like if it is it's going to be cutting it pretty damn close like you know one you the listing everything that was going to be showing you for the estimate time of delivery was going to be like a month from now like so far in advance um you should have been questioning this um and yeah like it, it'll be cutting it close things have been moving pretty quick but um it looks like the average is is um about eight to ten days right now um so yeah it'll be cutting it close if it does and but i, I just said to him like yeah it'll be cutting it close but um if it doesn't i assume you'll be putting a change of address in with the post office right like like a responsible adult would do and they're just like oh yeah yeah of course i'll be doing that no you weren't going to because people don't people just don't i don't know why like that's what you would do when you move um, the only bad thing about that though is eBay doesn't cover you. Um, I know I've kind of mentioned this as like a side note in other videos, but eBay, if a buyer puts a change of address in with the post office, they, yeah, they don't, eBay doesn't cover you, uh, with that because they want it to show delivered to, uh, the address provided, uh, in the payment. Uh, another guy the same day, yeah, buys something and then adds like a huge pays and then adds a huge long message to to his payments, uh, going on about uh insurance. That's a three hundred dollar item. Oh, he wants to insure, blah blah blah. Well, of course it's gonna be insured. Like, of course that I'll pay extra if I have to. Well, it's too late because you've already paid, but like, of course it's gonna be giving the insurance and everything and going on about um. He, he wants it sent this way because then it'll be help the uh, helper pick up and it'll be the most secure and blah 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 it's like again you've already paid you don't get to pick and choose how things are being shipped after you pay um but yeah i just said like yes that is how it's it's going to be going um and it was already insured like of course that's how the listing a 300 dollars item is going to be set up and yeah no need to worry um, so this is also the thing. Um, if you ever get a message with somebody like before receiving something, they start bringing up damage. Oh, package this well. I don't want it to get damaged. If you ever get a message like that, what even if this part of this will probably be a lie because a lot of sellers don't package well. Uh, I always reply back the same way. Um, and I say, you know, no need to worry. Uh, in over 20 years of selling online, I've never had an item arrive to a buyer damaged. Uh, for added protection, in case you have a disgruntled mailman, I have added signature confirmation to this delivery. So if it, I got hiccups again. So if it arrives to you and there does show any signs of damage, you can just immediately um, decline uh, to accept the delivery, and it'll be damages will be noted with your postal service and it'll it'll just speed up the return and refund process for you to just send it right back to me because that one lets the buyer know they're not going to claim that something's damaged and keep it if something's damaged it comes back to me you, you don't get you, you don't get to have it at that point um two they wouldn't be able to say that anything was damaged because you didn't follow the instructions that's what you were told to do if it looked like it was damaged so you know you'd be definitely questioned there um in my case i also usually mention too like you know you're, you're you know please view my feedback um because most of my feedback actually says how well i package things and i really have never i have had one item get damaged uh 
and I don't even count that because it was like stabbed with a knife. Like you could tell it was a disgruntled mailman. Like somebody was just pissed off um, and wanted to damage this package. And it, it was still packaged well enough that it didn't get as badly damaged as it should have or could have. Um, but yeah, it, uh, yeah, I, I don't even count that. It wasn't like normal wear and tear to, to a package during shipment. So, um, yeah, but again, you know, even if, even if you, you don't package that well, um, and you have items get often damaged, I use that, um, j just give that as a response to these people. Um, and yeah, add, add the signature confirmation. I think for you guys to do it in the States, it's only like a buck. Um, it could be a dollar well spent, um, to add that onto there. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's all my idiots of the week, all the scam updates for the week. Um, and just like a side rant. So like, yeah, I, I'm trying to film this video yesterday and like everything is going wrong for me. And then like, I'm a wide awake cause I can't sleep. So I went downstairs to watch some TV and I'm eating some chips and somehow while I'm sitting on my couch eating chips, a crumb of the chip like breaks off and up into my eye somehow. And like, what's your first thought when something gets in your eye? You're like, oh, my eye. So yeah, let me just rub some salty fingers in my eyeball. <sighs> like, fuck my life. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm already cranky for today and I'm tired. And um, yeah, that's, that's my video for today. That's all my complaints. And hopefully, hopefully that's it for the day. Thanks for watching. Bye.